up guys, Bella is back here. So today I am going to take you along with me as I print out my photos and in Polaroid frames. And I originally wasn't going to film a video, but because I was already doing it and I figured this might be helpful, I, would, I just decided to make a video. But this isn't like my normal setup. I'm not like wearing makeup. I'm not like actually trying that hard just because I wasn't originally going to film this. But it'll be a very casual talk to video and hopefully you get some tips on how to basically create Polaroid frames and photos without actually having a Polaroid. I have a Polaroid already, but a lot of my photos that I want to use in my dorm to hang up in Polaroid frames, um, they're just, the ones from my Polaroid aren't as cute, so I'm just gonna make them online and then we'll print them. We are basically just going to be using picmonkey.com that we have right here. And we are going to organize all of our photos into a folder first. So I put all my photos into this folder called More Dorm Picks. Here they all are. We have random names, but we'll fix those eventually. So going on to pickmonkey.com, you're just going to edit and choose computer. Choose the first photo that pops up. Now you're going to resize it to 600 by 900. If it's a vertical photo, if it's a horizontal photo, you'll organize it the opposite way, which I'll show you. So you're going to apply that. Make sure that these are unchecked. Apply that. Go to frames. Do not do Polaroid frame because that'll actually crop out. Like it'll, it'll crop it so that it'll crop out like this girl right here. So you're going to want to do simple edge. That's the trick here. Go to the white color. Make the inner color thickness match with the outer color, so at 20, and then caption space at 150. Apply it. Now you're going to have to go back and resize it at 600 by 900. And apply that. Now if you zoom out, it should look like a Polaroid, which it will. So now you're going to export that as Polar 1, because it's your first Polaroid. And you're going to want to number them for, I have reasons, but you'll see. So export it to computer. And it should pop up in your downloads. There you go. First one down. Now let's try a horizontal photo. So there's this one with my friend Priya. Whilst I'm going to rotate it because it's a horizontal photo, I want it to be, I think, this way. There we go. So apply that. And then you are going to resize it um, 600 by 900. So yeah, actually, you don't have to do the opposite dimensions for a horizontal photo as long as you flip it. That's what I realized. Now you're going to apply that. Again, frames, simple edge, like this white, 20, caption space, 150, apply. You're going to go back, again, resize it to 600 by 900. It is critical that you don't forget that because this is going to make it uniform across all of the photos when you're hanging them up. So, polar two, basically the same thing as the last one. Export. And then you'll know if it's the same across them both because when you line them up next to each other, they should both cut off at the exact same area. Perfect. So now I'm gonna show you this for four photos and then I'm going to show you what you're going to do after that. This is for if you want to print them. Make a collage from our computer, I guess. Add images. Um, we're going to add the ones that we just Downloaded. So I've been naming these Polar. There we go. So taking all four of these photos, open. 
and we are going to do square deal. We are going to place these photos into here, but this is the image size calculator. So for all of those, they were two by three inches, so they're 600 pixels by 900 pixels. So in the, you'll have four of those Polaroids in one print. So you'll basically cut them into four different Polaroids. So now we're going with a photo width of four by six. So let's see, 1200 by 1800, okay. So, 1800, put in, oh, here, we'll go in order, just for the sake of being neat. Put in the first photo, second photo, third, fourth, and now there's like all this white space and blocking here, which you don't necessarily want. So go here, go to spacing, remove that. So now you can easily just cut. If you want, you can make there be a teeny bit of spacing and make it like a color. I think I might just do that just so it's easy for me to know like, but that's where I'm cutting. But now you basically have a four by six photo right here and you'll just cut along those lines for your Polaroid photo. So I'm going to export this and I'm going to name this Polaroid 1. So not Polar, but Polaroid 1. Export to computer. And now you're going to repeat this with every four photos after you've done this. I know it's kind of tedious, but I like doing it. So basically when you get this printed out, you can just cut them. Hey guys, so I just got my photos printed. So here, sorry about my gross nails, but here's what they look like. I printed it out four, and then if you can kind of see, there's actually, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's actually a line right here and right here, which I showed you guys that I made when I put them in the collage form. And you are just going to cut along those lines, and that is how you get the Polaroids, and I'll show you what they look like after. So here I've already cut up some of my Polaroids, um, sorry there's a quarter in the frame, um, but yeah they're right here, um, I really like them, they, they look like Polaroids to me, um, and yeah, here are some of the horizontal ones, um, that's how they look, and just kind of depending on the, the way that you frame them, some right to the side, um, but yeah, super super cute. And now you can just hang these anywhere. Um, but yeah, to print a um, hundred, how many? 124 photos at Costco, it cost me $8, which is such a steal. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this. I just decided to film it because I was already doing it. Sorry, it was like crappy editing. It was just that. I thought this was a cool thing and that I should share it with any of you guys who want to have Polaroid photos but don't want to break out the money to buy a Polaroid camera. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys sooner or later. Peace out.